Hello, it's uh, been a while. Um, there's been a summer and I've been quite busy and uh, whatnot. And um, this video I've been trying to record a few times now. <laughs> uh, the problem is that it, I need constant weather because I'm going to test the consumption at different ride heights with the suspension. And it's been raining every day almost. Um, in addition to vacation and lots of stuff at work and yeah, yada yada yada. <laughs> so uh, today I plan to test the suspension. The suspension page has been uh, readjusted by the way. Now it looks like this in the Raven. So you can see it has real time, if I jump a bit in the car, <laughs> you can actually see it registers on the, um, on the, oh, green and orange bar there, or line. You can also see in real time how it adjusts. One thing they have removed though is the constant, um, that you can have a constant ride height. You never were able to have uh, different ride heights, um, or the high and the very high on high speeds, but standard you could. And now it just says, when this is disabled, it will automatically adjust between standard and low. I think this is the old setting. But when it's enabled, it will automatically adjust to low. But I'm hoping when I enter the highway um, and put it in standard, uh, it will stick there. So we'll see. So the plan is to drive from uh, uh, an entry to the highway down. Let's see if we can find it here. I'm going to drive down here and enter the highway here at this uh, spot and then I will drive down to Geland which let's see E18 I think it's down here yeah I'm going to drive down here and back up again and measure the consumption between standard low and very low and see if there's any difference I suspect there will be a small difference, not much difference, but um, maybe there is. <laughs> I've always had it on low when I go on highway. Maybe I should have it on very low. Uh, also, what is the different heights? So let's see, let's go back to suspension. Right now I have it on very high. doesn't say the centimeters unless I change it. So when I change it, the air suspension, oh it was 22 centimeters, it will drop it a bit. So you can see it is adjusting, there it stopped. Then we have standard. This doing something. <laughs> and then we have low. And uh, finally, there is very low. So I'm going to test the three ones at the bottom. There's only a four centimeter difference between them, so we'll see what happens. But in total, there is a seven centimeter difference. Anyway, I'm going to drive down to the entry to the highway and start the test. So I'm at the starting point. I will exit the highway over there and I will enter back here. So this is going to be the standard position. Let's see. I have a feeling I need to fight the suspension a bit to keep it in standard, but uh, we'll see. Right now it is in standard. Uh, the temperature is 17 degrees outside. I have a bit low state of charge, but it shouldn't matter. Uh, the reason for that is that my garage is blocked by a huge pile of gravel. There's some, we have some construction going on. We're building a wall. <laughs> uh, anyway, I have a new scan my Tesla. Oh, is this too dark? Kind of hard to see here. Uh, anyway, I'm going to reset it and I'm going to drive around and see. And then I'm going to do the exact the same thing on low and very low. And I'm going to be keeping a constant speed of 110. 
And the reason for that is that is the reference speed for um, a better route bladder. <laughs> so I want to check that out as well. But yeah, I also uh, removed the Asus Nexus 7 tablet. It was just, uh, it had too much shine in the screen and I think it's better to have it here anyway. So let's go here, reset the trip. And it has reset, so let's go. So I'm back at the starting point. Uh, the round trip is um, 36.9 kilometers. I have spent 77, 7.77 kilowatt hours. <laughs> Uh, I, I think I should be able to do two more runs, actually. So, consumption is 211 now, but it was 210 when I arrived. It just also counts the air conditioning and stuff while standing still. So, 210 for this round, which is uh, quite kind of in the range I expected. Uh, w when a YouTuber named Björn Nyland, he tried this car and tested it a bit. He averaged 227 at 120 and 177 at 90. So 210 isn't too bad. And it did manage to keep the ride height. I just had to adjust it once. Lots of uh, <laughs> fossils around there with noisy exhausts. <laughs> Wonder why that's so fun. Anyway, this time I'm going to low. And uh, I will reset the trip. Come on. Why does it say DC charge charge 2.4 megawatts? Megawatts. <laughs> That's incorrect. AC charge 6.7. It does bug a bit sometimes, this uh, scan my Tesla, but it's overall a very good app. Okay, there we go. So the consumption is just meaningless because it keeps the last one. Anyway, I better go so the air condition doesn't do too much damage. <laughs> so, round two is up. And uh, it did get a little bit better. It's... Um, same distance driven, 206 watt hours per kilometer, which kind of surprises me a little bit. It wasn't that much though. You can see I spent 100 watt hours less, 7.6 instead of 7.77, I think it was. 22.9 uh, usable uh, remaining, <laughs> so I need to charge after this. Uh, currently I have 132 kilometers of range. Um, Anyway, that's, that's too bad for 110 kilometers per hour. So, yeah. Next up. Very low. <laughs> this actually decreases the comfort a bit because the suspension doesn't work as well. It doesn't have as much space to move. Oh, <laughs> just went up to 207 and I dropped to 132. Well, didn't I have... Any? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, next up is very low, and uh, I'm going to hit reset. Let's see. The sun is out, so it varies between 17 and 18 degrees on this route. 17 and 19, I mean, so I think the average is uh, 18. Yeah, there it reset. Okay, round three. <laughs> Fight. All right, very low is done. And again, 36.9 kilometers. 7.0, oh, there it moved, yeah. So it was 7.39 kilowatt hours and 200 watt hour per kilometer. Uh, since I stood still here a bit, it moved up. It's done that on every single one. And uh, so what was it again? It was 210 at standard. 206 at low, and now 200 at very low. So there is a difference. It's not that big, 
but there is one. <laughs> I'm going to drive a low on highway because that's most comfortable and most efficient. Uh, but sometimes, maybe if one wants to really try to go far, <laughs> then you would save about 5% from going to standard to low and 2.5% from going to low to very low. I mean, from standard to very low first was 5% and then low to very low is another, yeah, 5. 2.5. Two <laughs> uh, yeah. I guess that's it. I need to charge now. 88 per kilometers of range. I'm on EF levels. <laughs> so better find the supercharger close by. Wait, why doesn't it? Well, there's... Mm, these are usually full. Should I go for the V3? Kind of want to charge here because this is faster actually. <laughs> figure out that V3, the, the adapter is inherently limited to uh, 135 kilowatts or so, 140. But up here I'll get 150, 145 at least. <laughs> it's also cheaper. Anyway, I think that's it for this time. Uh, but there was a result. I didn't expect that. It is actually more beneficial to ride on very low. <laughs>